Well, this poor beast in bondage you see in front of me is a turkey that we're going to cook in the trusty Showtime rotisserie oven. I just got this. It's the pro model. It claims to be able to handle a turkey up to 24 pounds. Uh, I got to tell you, I have another one. We've tried cooking really big birds in it up to 20, 22, 24 pounds. The problem is not the length of the bird, it's the width. And if you don't have a very long, narrow bird that's shaped more like a goose, the legs and wings are going to hit the cooking element and they're going to burn. So I wouldn't recommend a really big bird in even the pro model that we have here. But this is a tiny bird. It's only about 13 pounds. They recommend cooking for 8 minutes a pound. That's nice and short. I'm actually going to check it after about 6 minutes a pound just to see where the temperature is. We've brined it. We've prepped it the way you've seen us do before. And we've tied it quite securely because if the legs and wings start flopping around inside this thing, again, they're going to catch on the heating element and start a little fire in your kitchen, which is not what you want. Now we've already brined it, because, so we don't need a lot of seasoning, but I am going to give it just a pinch on the outside of my seasoned salt mix. This is my own blend. The recipe for it is on the website. And if you don't feel like making it yourself, we are certainly happy to sell you some. You can order it directly from there if you want. And while we're at it, I'm going to put some seasoned pepper on too. Which again, my own blend, available on the website, yada, yada, yada. The most difficult thing about cooking a turkey in this Showtime rotisserie is getting it on the spit. It's a little bit ungainly, but you'll manage. Now, here's how we do it. We start, start at the breast end, and try to get it centered vertically, up and down that is. So about an equal amount of space here to here. Okay. In you go. Go through as level as you can. Should come out somewhere near the thighs. And if you're lucky, you might even be able to get the spit to go through the legs and hold them in place. If not, it's not a major crime. Now the other end. Snap right in, center them up, and into the rotisserie. Let's turn them on. It's on normal rotation. And in he goes. Now let's see. Now here's something interesting. The weight of this turkey has caused the motor to stop. And there he goes. Now it could be that the turkey is out of balance. So we're going to take him out and see if we can balance him a little better. Now, will it work? Seems to be rotating okay. Let's check those wings. Uh, they don't seem to be hitting anything. I think we're good to go. However, we'll be the judge of that later. Well, our turkey has been in the rotisserie for about 90 minutes, a little less than that. That's about 7-8 minutes per pound. I'm going to take a look at it now and see what the temperature is like and see if he's done. Looks pretty good though, you got to admit. I'm just going to turn it off and let's take his temperature. Wow, 165 in the breast. That's pretty warm. Let's hunt for a cooler place to see if it's completely cooked all the way through. That's even higher. Wow. So we could have gone a lot less. So we're going to take them off and let him rest and see what, the what happens to the temperature. Well, as you can see, the thermometer is now reading 156. It was actually up to about 165, not 10 minutes ago. When we took it out of the roaster, it uh, continued to climb because the outside of the bird was quite warm, even if the inside wasn't fully cooked. The temperature migrated to the inside. It is now completely fully cooked, very safe. And this is why I take it off when turkey reaches 150 in the white meat, because any piece of meat, whether it's poultry or beef, or a pork roast will continue to climb in temperature after you've taken it out of the uh, taken it out of the oven. So you can see the color on this bird is really quite nice, and uh, it's still quite hot. Let's get these strings off here so we can take it apart and see how we did. They give you this little platform that you can put these uh, 
skewers sort of roasting pad in. I'm not sure how useful it really is. I'm going to carve it directly on the carving board. Well, it's quite a bit of juice in the plate here. Obviously, we save that for gravy or for stock. Your choice. Cut into that breast meat and take a look at it and see how it is. Wow. Quite hot, as always. Very nice. Completely cooked, white, extremely juicy. Actually, I've got to say I'm impressed. Mmm. Really, really fantastic. So, if you have one of these Showtime rotisserie ovens and you want to do a turkey in it, absolutely go right ahead and do it. Their timing of eight minutes a pound is not too far off. I cooked it a little less than that, but it's perfectly moist, very juicy. Just make sure you brine them and season them and dry age them in the fridge a couple of days like we've showed you before in all of our other videos. I'm going to take this guy apart right now. All the bones are going to be in the stock pot within five minutes and the rest of it will be broken down into trays and refrigerated with not much longer than that. So you can keep your family safe and look at our video on storing and taking apart a bird. So keep that food safety thing going too. Mm. Really good stuff.